Uh, we hope to keep the need for the speech and charity. We hope to keep the need for charity and charity. The speech and charity and charity. So, I would ask people to be quiet. People have come here to hear what's been said. And if you're shouting, other people can't hear it. Right, our first speaker is the Oman president who will give the introduction. Thank you for coming in such great 
numbers. And we, as in the Irish Senior Citizens Parliament, appreciate your continued support in our efforts to be the voice of the elderly of Ireland. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gina. Now, before we start with the other speakers, I would request them to keep their contributions within the time limit because it's likely we have more rain and we don't want everybody to rain. We're going on my rain. Great. Great. Right. The four speakers are Betty Green and Larry Dugan who will speak on the telephone allowance and rural issue. Ladies and gentlemen, you know exactly why we're here today. So I'm addressing this to the guys back in the big building behind us. Older people should be able to live in an environment that is safe and free from isolation and be confident that there is always someone at the end of an emergency phone. Now, the 950 makes... Sorry, somebody can't hear me. The 950 may seem small in monetary terms. The security and personal alarms rely on the landline, especially in rural areas where broadband coverage is poor and not existent in some places. Older people are very vulnerable. They could fall, they could be in some kind of need of help. They live in fear, being robbed, being mocked. Now this life, this life is a lifeline, it's vital. And is there, and is always there at the press of a button. Do the boys in the big house behind me know, know about isolation?